How's it going folks? This is Wayne Hart, back with another technique lesson today and I'm going to talk a little bit further about the embellishments that we did. I've already done one lesson, if you haven't seen that go and check that out, which was mainly around an A and a D chord. This is just a different set of chords and focusing on the, the G, the C and the F chord today. And just showing you some sort of simple embellishments, you know, by lifting fingers on and off that make the chord sound really, really interesting. So. Great for inspiration for songwriting or, you know, great for sort of, you know, adding into songs that you already know and sort of subtly adding them in there every now and again. I think it really adds a lot to a song. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I'll just point out that all of these chords are in the standard tuning, okay? So there's no confusion there. Uh, now, the first chord we're going to look at is a G chord. Now, if you're familiar with my lessons, I tend to use this G chord more than any other G. It's different ways that you can play a G chord. And that's like, you know, known as a rock G. Oasis use this chord a lot. But we're going to do a G in a slightly different way. We're going to do the three fingered G. And I'm going to do it with my second finger. That's going to be on the second fret on the A. Third finger, third fret. That's on the low E string. And the little pinky is going to go on the third fret on the top E string, okay? But what that leaves is your first finger. We can add this G sus4 chord in. So that's just adding your first finger onto the first fret on the B string. So that's the first one. Really, really nice that. Okay, another one that you can do, I think also sounds really nice, is not only can we add that first finger, but we can also put the second finger that would be on the second fret on the D string. So if you take the third and fourth finger off, we basically got like an A minor seven shape, but it's really nice if you can. So you. Really, really nice that one. Okay, and round the C chord, uh, there's a few things you can do with a C chord. So you can either just take off your second finger every now and again, first finger. So. Okay, or we can even add the little pinky. That would be on the third fret on the top E, also works, you know, third fret on the B string as well. So. Okay, and then we've got the F chord again. We can add that third finger, you know, on the third fret on the B string. We can also, you know, take off the first finger. C. You know, so there's loads of sort of ideas there and you can make your own little melodies up and things like that. Uh, so, you, just very briefly again, so the G chord, we can add, uh, you know, a G sus4 in by adding the first finger on the first fret on the B string. We can also keep that finger on and move the second finger down to the second fret on the D, so we got like that, you know, A minor 7 shape, sounds really nice. C chord, we've got a number of options. You know, we can take the first and second finger off. We can also add, doing a C sus4, adding the little pinky underneath the third finger, that will be the third fret on the D string. We've also got the option of putting the little pinky on the third fret on the top E string. Third fret on the B string. Okay, and similar to on the F chord as well. You know, we can take the second and first finger off. We can also add that pinky on the third fret on the top E string. Obviously, adding a bit of fancy strumming in there, you're going to get them chords sounding great. So uh, that's pretty much all you're going to need. 
Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, really, really useful technique. And uh, if you've never done anything like that before, if you just play, you know, standard chords and you're at uh, what I call a beginner's level, it's good to try things like that. I think it really, really opens your songs up and it also gives you, you know, if you're into songwriting you know, or just messing around, putting some chord prog progressions together, I think you can get some really, really interesting things going by just doing, you know, little simple things like that. So I hope you all dug that. Uh, thanks everyone for subscribing, thanks for your continued support, if you are already subscribed please hit that little notification bell down there, so every time I post a video you're going to get notified, and uh, please share my videos and tell your friends, you know, word of mouth is a powerful thing, so uh, I'd also really appreciate that. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day and night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.